day two of Maker Advent, and as is traditional, we have a soldering iron somewhere in Advent. So, I've got a thing about them. I like soldering irons. I like soldering. I'm not just a soldering iron collector. I actually like using them. So these are some of the ones that I own. Some of them are from what I've bought when I've been a maker in the past, and some of them are what I use in work as well. Uh, we've got pencil ones on the left here. We've got the TS80, TS100, and the TS101, the new one, which is like an amalgamation between the TS80 and the 101, 100. I'll get it right one day. Uh, in that, it's got DC and USB power, whereas if you look in the jack of these, you'll see it's just micro USB for data and DC for power. And that one is just USB-C. There we go. But this one has them both. Still testing that one. But anyhow, I digress, which is tradition. Uh, I like USB soldering irons, so these things, they're like five or six quid from eBay. They're not brilliant. They're not going to, you know, solder massive speaker connections. They're not going to do every single job a soldering iron can do. But if you're just starting out, they're fantastic. Why? I hear you ask. Well, I don't hear you, because if I did hear you, that'd be really weird. You're in the next room, listening to me speak. Tiny tips, so only the absolute end gets red hot to melt solder. Don't get me wrong, the rest gets hot. Touch control, so you have to touch it to turn on and off. It's also got a sensor in there. It's like a very simple little shaky switch in there. Heats up in about 10, 15 seconds, cools in two minutes. If kids are just starting to solder, this is a cracking little iron. But I hear you ask less. That's not the purpose of this video. Tell us about old irons. Tell me about the new one. Okay. Hands kit, USB soldering iron. Let's switch to the professional mode now. The Amazon listing. So it's it's 10 quid. It's an 8 watt soldering iron um, between 300 and 450 degrees C. And you know what? It works quite well. I got this a couple of months ago because Dr. Tim Nichols, Woodpunk, told me to. So I'm going to move this box that way. I've already taken the contents out because it's so tightly packed inside. It would have been a massive fumble on camera. Anyway, I'll dispose of this carefully. There we go. What's in the box? I hear Brad Pitt ask. We have the bits and pieces. So there's your, your micro USB, which is your power connection. There's your soldering gun tip. Some solder, it's lead free, so yeah, it works. A stand, which is nice to get. And there's the actual iron itself. So, jump cut, that was seamless, wasn't it? Okay. So there's the actual handle of the iron itself. Um, it's plastic coated metal. And micro USB on the end here. And the end, so the soldering iron bit, is held in this test tube type thing. And it's pretty much the same as this USB one here. As you can see, pretty similar. Also, I'm very impressed with myself keeping it all on camera today. What should we make a massive mistake now? Okay, screw this in place. You don't have to get a spanner or anything and really you know, tighten it in place. Fingertip is absolutely fine. There's your soldering iron built. And yeah. It works really well. So I've got the destruction manual out now. Yes, I know I said destruction. That's what I call them. And you're thinking now, Les, why I've got a manual out? You don't need it. Well, I usually do. You'll see three colours on here. Green, blue, red. So when you first press that button there, the iron will go green here to say it's going up to 330, 350C. That's ideal temperature for me to solder. Not too fast, not too slow. Gives you time to make mistakes and correct them. Blue, 370 to 400. Again, that's good. you still got time to correct them. And then 430 to 450 is, yep, yeah, we're going to melt all the solder everywhere. But that's handy when you've got a really big, heavy connection. Again, this is not for soldering big, heavy connections. It's more for GPIO pins, simple soldering on circuit boards. That sort of thing. But I like it. For a tenner... It's you know an improvement over this. Don't get me wrong, you can get pencil. 
for 25 uh, quid. But for a kid who's just starting out, that is great. So it runs from USB, 5 volts, and it'll run from a USB power bank. Now you can run this from a USB um, power supply. So if you've got a Mac USB power supply, like an old Raspberry Pi one, something like that, that will work. But here is a little bit of a warning. It does leak a little AC voltage. How do I know this? Well, I plugged it into my uh, Pine Power power supply on the edge of the desk there. And when I touched the metal chassis, I could feel a very faint AC, like a vibration. If you run your finger up and down, you'll feel like ridges, but it's not, it's AC. So if you're working at anything that's um, AC sensitive, it might damage it. So I'll plug it into a USB power bank and use it from that. It was great. So as I say, great for kids, easy to use, cheap, and you pretty much get everything you need to get started. The stand is good. There you are, it works. And it all comes nice to the box as well, really well boxed. So there we go, day two done and dusted. Tomorrow will be something a bit bigger, it's day three and it's also a Saturday. So we'll have a little project to mess around with. Anyway for now, see you later. Bonus content, I forgot. Banana for scale. Hashtag banana for fail.